Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and today's review is on the Mitsubishi 9800 Mature HB Pencil. Thank you Mr. Lego Man. So let's take a look. Um, we have this 9800 Pencil from Mitsubishi. Looks kind of similar to the Tombow. Uh, Tombow also has a green pencil, but it's a more lighter green. This is a more darker green. It actually brings to mind the the green tone, or it's probably the same as a Faber Castell 9000. I actually have one over here. So as you can notice, the Mitsubishi has a very similar tone. It's a slightly more darker, less vivid, compared to the Faber Castell. As you can notice, the Faber Castell, and the Mitsubishi. I don't know if you can notice. This one's a little more uh, lighter, the Faber Castell and the Mitsubishi is more darker. And as you can notice, the Mitsubishi is also more thicker than the Faber Castell. But both, if you can notice, they both have very nice wood. So that's a good point for both of them as they do have uh, nice quality wood for what it appears. So back to the Mitsubishi and the back. As you can notice, and it has perfectly center graphite, fully hexagonal, the full body is hexagonal. If we twist it here on the front, well first it's in golden print, it's established in 1887, matured, the 3 diamond logo, Mitsubishi 9800 and HB in white, the gray has a different color. If we twist it, it still says HB. On the back over here if on the third one third line HB again we have the the barcode and as well as the number and then another twist and it says general writing and HB it does not specify where it's made usually Japanese made pencils say Japan so I'm guessing either this is still Japanese or it could probably now be in Vietnam which is a uh, popular place uh, where the Japanese pencil makers are building their pencils now. So let's take a look. I wanted to compare this HB to other uh, other popular and well-known brands. So let me get my cards. So I made a quick comparison of erasing and shading. So let's take a look. Here it is. This, the second one, is the Mitsubishi 9800 Mature HB. Um, First we have over here a Baron Fig in HB. Uh, it left some shadow, I don't know if you can notice there. It left some shadow while erasing. When then we have a Mitsubishi, it also left a shadow, but it's not as notorious. So it, it fairly erased, fairly decent for an HB. Then we have the Mapped Black Peps. This one was a bit more messy at the beginning. It still left a more noticeable line from the beginning. Then we have the very widely popular the Dixon Ticonderoga. This one also left some shade, some shadow. So all of you can notice in this from this angle, they did left some shadow. They don't, they were not fully white erased. Now if we compare over here with a dirt one sketching uh, watercolor one. Again, I, I didn't have a graphic one, so I had to grab the, the watercolor one, HB. This is a heavily pigmented one, so it's very dark for an HB, and that's on purpose because it's a watercolor one. And yes, it was very messy to erase, as you can notice. It left some noticeable shadow. Then we have the Lira Art Design HB, which is more grayest, if not the grayest pencil uh, with graphite. It's the more grayest that I've seen, and it erased. And it helped probably the fact that it was gray, so the, it did not leave that much shadow, but there's still some. The camera might not be able to notice, but there is some. Then we have the widely popular Stedler Mars Lumograph in HB also. This, the Stedler, is more darker, slightly darker than the Lyra. And it did left also a slight shadow, but it fairly erased fairly okay very minimal shadow but there are still some then also the premium pencil from Faber Castell, the Castell 9000 also in HB this one also left some slight shadow here on the top and then at the bottom is much less noticeable the Castell is actually 
a tad bit darker than the Lyra but not as dark as the Stettler so Stettler is quite more darker actually and last we have here a big big number 2 HB this is again the, non, the woodless pencils uh, for an HB their graphite is fairly decently dark I expect a more lighter dark darkness but it's actually fairly decent dark and it was kind of messy to erase as you can see there's some shadow then we have the Tombow Mono R uh, 100 it's actually the 100 but I forgot to to write it down let me see um, oh no actually this is just the Mono Mono R only yes it's correct sorry this is the Tombow Mono R HB this one erased pretty good minimal if any shadow at, at all so this is probably the best pencil for for being an HB as darker and still very good for erasing then we have the Stellar Norica this one is made in Thailand this is a cheaper one for an HB it's much darker even for the Lumograph and it was a bit messier and it left some marks from the pencil so this doesn't erase that well but again this is a cheap and school pencil and last we have the Viking Element 1 HB which has a fairly dark graphite but as you can notice that same darkness is very hard to erase with the uh, Faber-Castell dust free so now let's give it a quick try to this uh, Mitsubishi pencil what I've noticed and those of you who are pencil enthusiasts will know how particularly smooth are Japanese pencils or Japanese brands compared to the German or the US and other brands so let's give it a, a quick try this is a Mitsubishi 9800 mature mature HB pencil the graphite feels really smooth fairly comfortable to write with um, doesn't doesn't feel scratchy um, I have used other pencils that do feel scratchy but um, this graphite feels really good for sketchy I like the fact that uh, in general most Japanese brands have a very smooth graphite which can be used both for a uh, for writing purposes but also for sketching and that helps them quite a lot and it's also a good attribute on these pencils again it feels very fairly smooth the graphite let's give it a quick test for the racing okay it fairly erase okay but there's some still shading so don't expect this to be that much of a sketching pencil but fairly decent uh, really comfortable to write with very smooth graphite and again a nice tone of darkness of graphite for an HB so it's pretty good also for drawing uh, I hope you liked this review please uh, give a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more stationary reviews thanks again for watching bye bye